Hello team and welcome to another vlog. Day two of the training series. Can barely move after yesterday. You've nicked my pillow set up. Ever since Jazz uh, had her operation, she she's had to sleep upright with this pillow. Look how many pillows. Not fully upright, but. Well, like kind of upright. I sleep with one, which is this one, right? <laughs> look at this, look at that, that's a sorry pillow that is. They ask you how you are, you don't just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just. <laughs> Jazz sleeps like a, like a queen. How comfortable is it? Yeah, it's comfortable. You it? usually don't like having all the pillows, but you've been quite quite settled there. Well, it's 12.19, we're training at 1.15. Okay. All right. To the box. Soon. Oh, my hand's too small for the <laughs> transition. To the box. Never mind. To the in box. A minute. In a minute. <laughs> in a minute. Transition's on point. <laughs> That's such a fail. What do you mean you're ordering ice cream for after the session? <laughs> you got the ice cream man's number? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. That'd be so good. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, we'll be done in five. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Seems to be on the cards today. He obviously missed the boat a few months ago when Craig was playing it non-stop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dan Bailey has not been to pick up his bag yet. Yeah, we actually, we told him, come to Lace Makers, Dan Bailey, <laughs> and he just ain't turned up. They ask you how you are. Day two of the week, team. You know, we're back. Oh, unbelievable. How much do you ache? Not that bad. That's good. There's like good amounts of stuff, you know. It's not. He's playing blooming peaches again. <laughs> Lucas <laughs> Parker. They the called him. Session. You know, on the vlog yesterday, they called him Lucas Parker. Did they? <laughs> pretty much sold it, hasn't it? Oh, he does look like Lucas Parker, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> very much. <laughs> very oh, much. Oh man. <laughs> He's about as mental as Luke, Lucas Parker as well. <laughs> and they called Jack Malone Calm Porter. <laughs> He's going to love that. He's going to love that. <laughs> I mean, look, I have the app, you know, so you can literally just go on, click whatever you're doing for the day and just check it out. But I like writing it when I come in just because I feel like I can put it, you know, and just You can there. tick it off. Tick, yeah, tick, tick, tick. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is the big lift days. You know, that's where we get strong those days. Uh, in between those, Thursday is a rest day and Tuesday is like a pump gymnastics volume day. So, very, uh, just get swole day. To wear a vest. <laughs> oh, okay, goddamn. Now, nah, you know what's going to be annoying though is because there's a lot of ring muscle ups in today, I haven't done them in ages. Just, I'm going to end up with like Mark's here. Literally, Mark's here. Oh, why is he? This is Mark no, and he's here. Gonna... You're going to get all, all scabby arms. Yeah, I'll put some socks on. You got any socks on? Socks? I don't mind. I don't mind. He's no. come early. That's what she said. It's too soon. Jazz. <laughs> He's come to it, yay! Yeah. If we had a freezer, we could have put them in the freezer. I know. If only we had the freezer. <laughs> what am I doing? Is that how you got out of bed this morning? <laughs> yeah. This is basically me. <laughs> nah, my crocs are blue. <laughs> right, tip before we do this, uh, before we do like a gymnastics day or like this, this is 12 minutes of pretty much like straight pulling. Shoulder health, like biggest thing in CrossFit, like a lot of people have shoulder issues, especially with all the dynamic movements that we do. A lot of sitting every day, you know, you know, you know if you sit all day. Um, personally for me, one of the best things I like to do before I do a lot of pull-ups and especially before I do a lot of chest to bar or bar muscle ups. Hi. Single arm hangs. Okay, not, not like this, where you're like falling, active. Okay, stopping yourself from spinning. If you've got a weak rotator cuff, weak lat, you're gonna do this. That's what I did. Right, and if, if you do that, don't even do chest bar. Get strong with your shoulder and your shoulder girdle first. Don't be stupid, stupid. You know what I mean? Like, I'll do 30 seconds on each arm, two or three rounds. Simple as that. None of this. Active. 
You can just look. You can just look around the gym. Look at people do stuff. Forty-seven strict pull-ups. This one I don't like, this is the worst part. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be shaking more than the guy out of Home Alone when he's getting electrocuted, you know? Honestly, that ain't 20 seconds, you have me on. <laughs> I'm gonna pause, I hear a band. <laughs> Don't be afraid to scale. Oh, you annoy. Do not be afraid of the scale. Ow. <laughs> Static strength is so underrated. A lot of people obviously think to do more volume, you've got to do more volume, and it's very true. But also, getting those static holes in there for the volume with less impact, it's great. Like, you're still overloading the muscle, you're still getting that time, tension, time and attention, that working, but just, you're not putting the joint through as much stress. Thirteen fifty-one. Muscle ups just went to crap after the first round. All that pulling before made it super hard to get over the rings, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. That's why we're doing pull endurance today. Don't always do movements fresh. You are a lot sweatier than I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're doing the epic camera shots. I am. <laughs> the vlog has stepped up since I've been in charge. <laughs> Man's got to stay hydrated. <laughs> Feel like a German flagon. <laughs> should be ale. He started talking to me part way through the workout while swinging this jug, and I was really trying to keep a straight face as if that was a normal thing to do. If you're dehydrated, it's too late. <laughs> I did promise a pump session, and it is pump session. That pumped up my lungs. A lung pump is good for you, all right? I did say he wants to work on conditioning yesterday, and the program at the moment is more of like a strength slash capacity not so much conditioning but there is going to be some bits of conditioning in it so you don't lose it and that was one of the pieces nothing too long just a good 20 minutes holding 78 to 80 rpm that was echo bikes are rough a bit a bit sick see ya not ready That push-up workout never makes me not feel like... Does that make sense? Double negative is a positive. You do it, you feel like the Michelin man. I did a good abs variation. I did heel touches on the even numbers and sit-ups. Ab mat sit-ups on the odd numbers. 
because my abs actually cramped. <laughs> I've never had that before. I obviously haven't used my abs very much before. Ah, <laughs> oh, beautiful scenery. Why is he being cheeky? Why is he being cheeky? Another epic day of training, and now we just, you know, we'll, we'll make this video. Uh, I'll chill with Carla. Look at her. Hey, yo. No, my dog is not a fox. And yeah, that's day two of the full program. You know, you're, you're seeing us do it. I'm doing it, I'm sticking to it. One more day and then rest day. On rest day, I'll probably make a meme video slash news video, so look forward to that. But I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, as always, please do smash that like button. Or if you're an animal, just take your paw and click that like button. And um, if no one's told you today, you, my friend, are an absolute legend. Hope you have a good evening, morning, day, wherever you are. And we'll see you tomorrow for deadlift day. Catch you in the next one.